Okay, everybody. Um, so we've been doing constructing Venn diagrams, but sometimes they don't ask us to draw a Venn diagram. What they do, what you will get is a case where they will give you a Venn diagram and you have to read or interpret what the Venn diagram is saying. So let us look at this question. It says, a survey was carried out on a group of children to find out if they like chocolate ice cream or strawberry ice cream. The Venn diagram below shows the results of the survey. When we look at the Venn diagram, we notice there are two sets. There's a, well, there's a universal set, which is represented by the rectangle, but there is one set for chocolate. Here, we talk about it. One set for chocolate, and all the students in this set like chocolate. And then there's one set for strawberry, and all the students in this set like strawberry. All right, let me highlight that a little bit for you so you can see clear. So all these children here, all in this set here, this set here that I have, these are all the students that like chocolate, right? And then all the students that like strawberry would be over in this set. But do you notice how it overlaps? Do you notice that? Because this is the set that shows the set that likes strawberry. Well, hopefully you can see it a little bit clearer with that. And then we have some members of the universal set who are outside or not liking any strawberry or any chocolate. You see them out here. Okay, so now let us look at the questions that they're asking. How many children were surveyed? Now, if we are to figure out how many children were surveyed, we have to count all the children in the Venn diagram. So let's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, how many children were surveyed? We know that the answer is thirteen. All right, let's look at the next question. The next question says, How many children liked either chocolate or strawberry ice cream? So, we're counting all the children who, even if they like strawberry or if they like um chocolate ice cream we're going to call them so those will be the children that are in the chocolate set and the strawberry set so let's call them one two three four five six nine ten so the answer to that question would be ten the next question said who liked both chocolate ice cream and strawberry ice cream so we're asking, there are some children who like both the chocolate and the strawberry. Which, what, who are those children? And we can find out who those children are because they are both there in the strawberry set and the chocolate set. And we see that it is Ian, Sarah, and Emily. So the answer to that question would be Ian, Sarah, and Emily. All right. Now, those are the questions that were given, but there are some other types of questions you could get. So they could ask a question like, who only likes strawberry ice cream? Only likes strawberry. And if we were talking about only liking strawberry, it would have to be Kim, Hannah, and Adrian, because we couldn't include Aeon, Sarah, and Emily because they like chocolate as well. But Kim, Hannah, and Adrian like only strawberry we could ask another question who doesn't like strawberry or chocolate ice cream they don't like either of them who would those be that would be lionel ramos and pauline they don't like strawberry or chocolate ice cream and then we could also ask the question uh how many who are the children or how many children only like chocolate ice cream and if we're asking how many and it would be one, two, three, four. So there are a lot of different questions that they can ask. But all you have to do is look on the, the Venn diagram and think about it carefully and you will get the answer. Okay, I hope this helps.